What's going on guys, Seth here from Team Union. Seth, back as your coach of the Philadelphia Furos for our Week 2 matchup, our Week 2 team builder in the PGL, the Polito Generation League, so our Gen 5 League. Um, this week we're going up against DJDE. Um, I'm pretty sure he's 1-0. I believe he was 1-0, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but anyway, as you guys know, we have our Landorus Theory and our Ferrothorn, Kiram, Reuniclus, Embor, Blastoise, Weezing, Sock, Raikou, Zoroark, Registeel, and Miltank as the or as DJ DE has the Dragonite, Scizor, Starmie, Nidoqueen, Hitmontop, Magmortar, Gradilly, Glaceon, Thunderous Theory, and Mischievous, Maloetta, and Emolga. So the first thing excuse me, the first thing that stands out is his, he has a Thunderous Theory in which I'm like 99% sure was banned to Ubers in Gen 5. This thing is insane. It had like one of the highest special attacks of all time. I think it's like base 145. It's something crazy like that. So, immediately that's a threat. Throw on top of that Dragonite and Scizor. You got a massive threat. He has a Volturn Core with the Thunderous and with the, uh, the Scizor. Um, he has things like Starmie and Nidoqueen, which, which can be very scary as well. Um, but just going down the list, the Dragonite, I think, is definitely going to come. And I think it's going to be a Dragon Dance set. Um, obviously, I have things like Landorus and Ferrothorn that can counter it. Uh, Lander is hard walls it pretty much, but it has fire punch potentially for the Ferrothorn. Obviously a dragon move for the Kyurem. Uh, you know, it's going to be hitting Reuniclus pretty hard. Earthquake even potentially for the Embor. Um, and it just has, you know, things that are going to hurt my team a lot. So, definitely pretty scary. Uh, the Scizor. Scizor, I'm not totally sure if he's going to bring. It has a decent matchup with things like U-Turn for the Reuniclus and Bullet Punch for the Kyurem. Um, and it can dish out some good damage to my team uh, getting some switch initiative. So it's definitely a possibility. Starmie, I think he's probably going to bring because it has a good matchup against my Landorus. Um, it can run, potentially run HP Fire for Ferrothorn. Um, and it outspeeds everything but Raikou on my team. Pretty, and I'm pretty sure it speed ties with Raikou. Pretty sure they're both, both base 115. Uh, Nido Queen, I don't really see him bringing. Um, I mean, he could. It has coverage for Lando and for Ferrothorn and things like that. But in general, it's just not fast enough to, to take on my team. Hit him on top. Don't really see that coming. Not really going to talk about it much. Magmortar. It's possible. It's definitely possible uh, for things like Registeel and for Ferrothorn. Um, but I don't know if he'd want to bring it just because it's you know more of a low tier mon. It has a decent matchup against my team, so he definitely could bring it. So it's something I have to be on the lookout for. Uh, Cradilly. I don't really see Cradilly coming. I don't think it has much viability in this matchup. Uh, Glaceon. Glaceon's another mon that could definitely come. Uh, it's pretty good against the Landers. It can take a potential hit from the Kyurem and fire back. Um, and it just has decent coverage. It's good for the Weezing as well. Um, so that's something that could definitely come. The Thunderous, I definitely think he's 100% bringing. And I think he's going to bring something like Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Focus Blast, HP Ice. Because that has really good coverage against my team. So I'm definitely concerned about that. The Mischievous, I don't really see coming. Meloetta has some potential, but I'm not so sure. And then the Emolga, I don't see coming either. So getting right into the team find my mouse there we go getting right into the team we have starting off the winter soldier our Kiram with the babiri berry and pressure uh rocking ice beam signal beam hidden power fire and roost 32 hp uh 252 in special attack four in special defense and 220 in speed with the timid nature um this thing allows us to outspeed the meloetta so we outspeed yeah we outspeed the meloetta we have the babiri berry for a potential bullet punch from the scissor we can fire back with an hp fire um ice beam is obviously for things like the dragonite and for the Nido Queen, Cradilly, Thunderous, uh, as Signal Beam is there mainly for the uh, the Starmie and the Meloetta. So if we're going to outspeed the Meloetta, we want to be able to hit it pretty hard. And then Roost, just if we can, I can get this thing back up to or back up to high health, and it can threaten his team even more. So it is a pretty decent threat to his team. So Kiram definitely had to, had to come, as well as it does outspeed the Dragonite if it's not boosted. So that's something to note um, and remember. And we can easily Elko with Ice Beam after Rocks. And before Rocks, I'm actually not sure. Uh, because you will get the multi-scale, but <clears throat> it's definitely an option as well. Next up we have our Zoroark with the Focus Sash and Illusion, obviously. We have U-Turn, Dark Pulse, Flamethrower, and HP Ice. 32 in attack, 252 in special attack, 224 in speed with the haste of nature. So this is our, a potential lead for us, definitely. We can threaten something, um, you know, with our disguise and potentially U-Turn out. So we could think it's like a Scarf Landorus even. Um, excuse me, we can take one hit from anything we know that uh, with our sash we can take one hit and potentially oko something so like we oko um 
we do we Oko the Thunderous, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we Oko the Thunderous, we do a lot of damage, things like the, uh, the Dragonite, <coughs> the Scizor, even the Starmie, so it does have a very good matchup against this team. Um, and we outspeed the Thunders as well, so enough speed to outspeed the Thunderous. Um, I think the only thing we don't outspeed is the Starmie, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, the Starmie. The only, the only thing we don't outspeed is the Starmie, but we can take hit, hits from that and fire back to the Dark Pulse for a U-turn, and I don't think he's going to want to stand on this thing anyway. So next up we have Captain America, our Lander to Searing with the Gachi Berry and Intimidate with U-turn, Earthquake, Rock Slide, and Stealth Rocks. This thing is a potential lead as well, so Zoroark or Landers are kind of our potential leads. Um, 250 to attack, 8 in special defense, 248 in speed with a Jolly Nature, allows us to outspeed the Meloetta, so we can fire off some powerful U-turns or Earthquakes. The Yachi Berry allows us to live in HP Ice from the Thunderous. Um, that thing can be pretty scary, so like I said, uh, he's probably going to want to lead with Thunderous or something of that sort. Um, so I can live in HP Ice, get up to my Stealth Rocks, or even just Rock Slide and kill him depending on what I want to do in the matchup in general. But Stealth Rocks are really good for his team uh, because of the Dragonite, because of the Thunderous, the Glaceon, the Magmortar. It does a lot of damage to his team, so I, those rocks are really important uh, and they help me get some key knockouts later in the game. Next up we have our Weezing with the Black Sludge and Levitate with Flamethrower, HP Ice, Pain Split, and Will-O-Wisp. This set's a little weird. We got 248 HP, 252 Defense, and 8 Special Attack with the Bold Nature. So. We're mainly physically defensive for the Dragonite and the Sizzle. That's what this thing is here for, to take on those threats, um, and to not let them set up, or if they do, be in here to take them out. Thus, we have the Flamethrower for the Scizor and the HP Ice for the Dragonite. Will-O-Wisp is also nice for both of those, if I want to, you know, if I want to Will-O-Wisp them instead of giving, instead of taking them out outright, or uh, we also have Pain Split to gather up my health, so instead of... The Flamethrower knocks out Scizor, but I don't believe HP Ice knocks out Dragonite, just because it's a little bit bulkier. So if on that Dragonite I want to Will-O-Wisp and then Pain Split instead, and then knock it out with an HP Ice, that's definitely an option. So I could definitely see some sort of scenario like that. Uh, but anyway, next up we have our Reuniclus with the Leftovers and Magic Guard. Calm Mind recovers Psychic Shadow Ball, 248 in HP, 252 Defense, 8 in Special Defense with the Bold Nature. So physically defensive can help take on some, some Mons on his team, just giving me some extra Fizz Def support. Uh, especially for that Dragonite. Uh, we can potentially set up and sweep with this thing, so if we get rid of, uh, like, the Scizor, we can pretty much set up and sweep, depending on the, on the right matchup. So, Psyching Shadow Ball hit his whole team. <sighs> Excuse me. Sorry, Psyching and Shadow Ball hit his whole team for at least neutral. So, we have pretty good coverage there. And that's pretty much it. That's, this, that's pretty simple, just for this thing to potentially set up and sweep, and give us a little bit of, a little bit of extra defensive support. Last but not least, we have Thor, our Raikou, with the Life Orb and Pressure, Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Extra Sensory, and HP Ice, 252 in Special Attack, 112 in Special Defense, 144 in Speed with the Timid Nature. So this thing's job, uh, we outspeed the Thunderous, which is cool. I, I, we have the Special Defense Investment to help with the Starmie, so we potentially take hits from that thing, um, and then fire back, obviously, so I didn't think it was worth risking the Speed Tie. Um, and it, it's just strong. Raikou's is really strong against his team. He doesn't really have anything that wants to take a hit. I mean, we have... We hit everything for at least neutral. Most things for super effective damage. So, uh, Raikou I see putting in a lot of work this week. Um, it's a little bit bulky. He takes some special hits. Potentially from the Thunderous or the Starmie. And then fire back really, really powerful attacks in return. So, that is it for the team. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the team overall. And if there's anything you would have changed or done differently. But other than that, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.